in the last tutorial, it was a very, very similar demonstration to what we're going to do now. Um, this one is a little bit more involved. Um, I'm not just changing the color on something so I can show you what colors I have to offer somebody if this were my product and I want to try to sell it and want to zhuzh it up a little bit, have other people have opportunities to buy different things. This case, I want people to have options. The main product is going to be this square and this sphere. That's what I want to try to sell, but I want to have options maybe to have this cone on the side, the green cone or the yellow cylinder or both. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the top and then the bottom while holding the shift key. So I select all of them and I want to make a group. And this is going to be the ultimate model. So I have a group and that's everything that has everything possible. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and I'm going to take out the cylinder. I'm going to call this green cone model. And I'm going to duplicate this again. And at this time I'm going to take out the green cone and I'm going to have this spelled it wrong. It's okay. And I'm going to duplicate one more time. And this time I'm going to call this basic model. And I'm going to delete the cylinder and the cone. So now I have all my options. This is the basic model. I can have the basic model with the cylinder, the basic model with the cone, or the basic model with both the cylinder and the cone. So I have all of my options here. So once I build all my options, I'm kind of going to save some room by clicking on these arrows to collapse them. Everything's still underneath it, but I can pop them open if I need to with that same carrot to see what they are. Um, but I labeled them properly, so hopefully that'll help. And I'm going to add something called an object switcher. And you can leave it. This is the only ob object switcher I'm going to have in here, or I can rename it. I'm going to rename it choice. I'm going to give these people, give you a choice, my viewer a choice as to which one they want, the ultimate, the basic, the yellow, or the green cone. So I'm going to select all of these again by clicking on the first one, holding my shift key down, clicking on the last one, and I'm going to hover over my choice, my object switcher, because I want them to be part of the object switcher, my choice these are the choices that they have. And as soon as I drag them, they indent a little bit so I know that they were added into my choice. Now I want to modify my choice a little bit. I need to give some information. So people have the, oh, I want to select the basic model. By default, nothing's showing on my screen at this point. So where'd everything go? Which one do you want people to see first? And I want people to see my basic model first. So now that's showing. And I'm going to add a floating UI, something that somebody can see. And then over here is what you determine, what do they see? And I want them to see the object switcher controller. And like if you have multiple object switchers in here, you can pick the one. I only have one. It's called choice. So I have that in there now. And then this should update with all of my choices and it's not. So I have to figure out why. I'm gonna add some text as well. my text to be on top. 
going to go back to my object switcher. Again, nothing selected, and that's why nothing's pulling up in my menu. I couldn't figure out why. I'm going to come back here and select this choice. And this time I actually clicked on it. I thought because it's the only one, it should be the default, but I had to actually click on it. And now I have the base model. I have this yellow option where I can buy this yellow cylinder. I can buy the green cone or I can buy the ultimate model. So I do have those options. Now, let's rearrange these over here. I'm gonna take this ultimate model and drag this one down to the bottom because I want to see the basic model first and then it doesn't matter which one, yellow or green, and ultimate last. So I'm gonna go back to my floating UI and now that one is rearranged to the bottom. Let's see what the preview looks like. Just make sure that this works. So when people preview it, they can look around it. They can see the yellow cylinder, the green, and the ultimate model and look and see what those look like. Cool. So that's called an object switcher.